Glassgat is here today. Um, and today I'm bringing you an unboxing video from Mystery Tackle Box. Now, of course, I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I was, but I'm just going to do an unboxing. I did this because I haven't done one of those in a while with either Lucky Tackle Box or Mystery Tackle Box. I know my like unboxing videos don't really get the most views on my channel, and you know a lot of people more enjoy the fishing kind of stuff. But I, I enjoy I enjoy doing it, so we'll do a video on this. I right, just want to address two things. Number one, I apologize for this grainy light. I know it's probably really annoying. Um, I finally just got enough lighting in my room to actually do videos, but it's still grainy because they're LED lights. I don't really have any kind of soft light um, or super HD cameras like DSLR. So you're gonna have to deal with a GoPro grainy in this. But of course, on the unboxing, you'll not be seeing it from here. I'm gonna do it on my iPhone so you can get close-ups or whatever, you, whatever's better to see. So I just reached 400 subscribers on the channel um, a few weeks ago, and all thanks to people on Facebook that I got shoutouts from, um, from, and a bunch of fishermen flooded in and discovered my channel and subscribed to me. So I got 400 subscribers and I'm able to participate in that Cast King tournament. Um, so I got the reel, I'm doing the video, I'm going to release it soon. And also just wanted to give a huge thanks to Leo from Extreme Fly Fishing who also helped me out a bit there. Um, really appreciate it. Goes a long way. Alright guys, let's get started with this unboxing. I'm going to switch over to the iPhone so you guys get a better look. Alright guys, so this is Mystery Tackle Box for the month of March, the Trout Edition. Alright, it's going to be really hard to open this. Ooh. 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 This is looking really good. Oh yes. Ooh, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this one right here. Ooh. Yes. Okay, I'm really happy about this. Okay, so I just got this thing unboxed. It's uh, got the dibble thing. Got all this. Do we have a card? Okay, we do have a card. Let's just grab the card. Put everything back in there. So we can review this awesome stuff that I already see. Okay, okay. So this is what's the what's inside card for March. So what is on here? It says suspending jerkbait J. LDI one which I do not have in there. I do not think did not look like that. Yeah, I didn't think I saw one in there uh, 799 shutter spoon. Ooh, Johnson EPF if you're watching this Johnson, okay fishbone bait jar. we got lunker by lunker hunt Helgramite that looks pretty good slick jig I was actually trying to buy a slick jig online for ice fishing um, For a very long time on Amazon I was trying to find one that for like under a dollar because I only had a dollar left on my Amazon gift card but I guess I found one on here, so I don't have to buy it. So I'm really, I'm really happy about that. Thanks, mom and dad, for getting this for me. All right, so let's start. Let's see if we can find the suspending jerk bait, which I did not see, but maybe. Oh yeah, okay. I, I see what happened here. So they replaced. Okay. Oh wait, whoa, 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 we do have it. Okay, I can't even see that. I guess I'm blind. Okay, so let's just sit down and then compare this on the thing. Okay, okay, whoa, the, the, like, feel the depth is, is really messed up on the phone. So we got the Suspending Jerkbait by JLDI from Baker Lures. Retails at $7.99. This is the lure. Looks, it's actually like a really cool looking lure. It's like an, um, blue, what, blueback herring, alewife kind of, kind of color. Yeah, so I love Suspending Jerkbaits. I catch tons of trout on them. If you literally just watched one of my last videos, or you saw me catching trout, you, you like saw that I was using a Matsuo Nano Minnow, which is a small suspending jerkbait, I believe. And also in my future upcoming videos, you'll see me using a lot of x -rafts. So this is perfect. Um, how, many, how many inches is this? Let's see. Trout, perch, bass, and walleye. This is perfect. Um, sus this, yes, it dives to three feet, which is perfect for trout fishing. Doesn't say um, how long it is, but it looks like it might be like two and a half inches. But yeah, this is an awesome looking lore. I'm really excited to have this. Like, I got I got some good, good stuff in this mystery tackle box for this month. Like, I am not sad at all. Like, I've been disappointed with some stuff that I've gotten. In fact, like, right here. Like, literally, like, lures like these that I've taken the hooks off of, and lures like this. But, whatever. So, that was in the past. Like, I got, I actually got this, this, um, rattle trap in a trout, in a trout box one time. Um, if you want to see that, I'll put a card up above. Yeah, that's awesome. Let me just get another view of that. All right, guys, let's go to the Spin Dandy Hindle Brent, which is a small little, like, minnow, not minnow spin, Johnson minnow spin, no. It is, uh, 
here we are right here. Okay, so it's a mini spinner bait, which might work. I've never really used them for trout before, but there's the spin dandy. It retails for $3.95. And there's the spin dandy. Um it's has a small it's like a small beetle spin if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's got a black trailer with an interesting pattern um, with a chartreuse back. It's got a little jig head there. And I can always tr um, rip that off and put a trailer on there. Like um, oh, like a saw plastic. Like some lunk around stuff that I got in there. It's one eighth of an ounce. It's made by Yakima Bait, which is the same person that makes rooster tails. Not person, but brand that makes rooster tails. So I'm not sure if I'm going to catch a trout on this, but I might as well try. Because I know that the stock trout, they're not too smart. So if I'm catching them on spinners, then I'll just switch over to this and see if I can catch one. Because I am planning on doing a slam for this. The stuff that I got in here, I know I can catch all, like, catch fish on all of these lures. Like, it looks easy. Actually, maybe not the Helgramite, but, um, or this, but we'll see. Alright, so that's the second one. Let's just put this over there. So once again, that was the Spin Dandy Hindlebrandt 395. Let's go to the Fish Bone Bait Jar by Lunker Hunt. Alright, so I got that. So that is like really awesome looking. All right, so this is a small jar full of soft plastic, um, which look like little soft plastic swim baits that of course resemble fish. They're in a chartreuse color, so I just put this on a small trout magnet jig head, and um, I'll be fine. I'm sure I can catch a trout, and I'm not too good at catching trout in soft plastics, but these stock trout, like I said, aren't too smart, so I can probably catch one. So there it is, the fish bone bait jar by Lunker Hunt. Retails for $5.99. Um, I've seen other people get these in their boxes, and they were pretty excited about it. And I've seen them come in panfish boxes too, so that's pretty good. I'm excited about that as well. Feeling pretty confident with those this one. The next one we have is the Helgramite by Catchco. So Mystery Talk Box or Catchco, whatever they rebranded themselves as, um, started producing lures. So what we have here are Helgramites um, by Catchco. So these retail for $189. I'm not sure if you can actually get them at the store because it's made by Ketchco. But these are like little Helgramite lures. They look like one and a half to two inch lures. Um, these would be good, great on jig heads, maybe even just like um, fish weightless through a current. I'm not, again, I'm not so sure about trout. Like, I'm, I'm sure I could catch one. Like I said, these stock trout, once again, I'm sure these stock trout aren't too smart, so I'm not sure how well they're going to react to this. But this is actually an amazing smallmouth lure, the same creek that I catch these trout in, has tons of smallmouth in it, and this would be absolutely killer for them. Every time I find a real Helgramite in the creek, um, I feel really good because then I put it on my hook and I catch big smallmouth. There we go. It's like they read my mind and gave me perfect smallmouth lures for that creek. So the last one is the Slick Jig by Lindy, and this retails for $249. So let's get... <gasps> Wait a minute. I missed one. I missed the Shutter Spoon. Okay, but let's just go to the Lindy Slick Jig. So this is the Lindy Slick Jig. Um, it's like an ice fishing style jig, um, but you can cast it, I'm sure. $249. Let's see if we can get anything in the back. So it says, unique sliding and gliding action provo provokes sa savage stripes, lifelike holographic finish, great with live bait. So it doesn't really have any more information except it's one eighth of an ounce made in the United States. So this looks like a jig head that I can put one of those Lunker Hunt things possibly on it. I'm not sure that's really going to go well, but I'm definitely going to use minnows with this thing. Um, the trout in the creek also slam... Um, minnows in that creek re really readily so I'm gonna catch a ton of fish or hopefully a ton of fish on this or I can just trail it with a regular night crawler and finish this up really quickly and when I'm looking in the slams I'm not really looking for I guess size I'm just looking for the fish and there are tons of tiny trout in there like you know 12 inches I may even use this up at the pond that I'm going to this weekend for opening day or more like a mini lake but that's gonna be a good lore so once again that it's a Lindy slick jig 249 no need for Amazon on this one and the last one we got on here is the Johnson shutter spoon now I'm very intrigued by this one just because of the color like clown basically so this is a shutter spoon 299 by Johnson I really wanted spoons because my friend uh, Cooper kills absolutely kills trout on um, like spoons and creeks he caught that giant 20 inch palomino that um you will see in the upcoming video or maybe you already saw it depending on when I released it but 
So it's one eighth of an ounce. It is clown colored, which is how I like to say it. it's got, you know, blue, yellow, red, and it's white. So, you know, clown colored. I'm not, again, I'm not going to sure, ugh, I'm not sure how the trout are actually going to react to this. Um, I'm sure I can catch a fish on I'm not sure if it's even shining. Oh, it's already open. Oh, wait, no, that's just the back. Okay. Oh, it's got information. So, how to tie a polymer knot. Okay, so this is the recommended knot for it, um, which is a polymer knot, and it has the recommended lines. Berkeley Fire Line, six to eight pound trialing. I have, yeah, okay, techniques. So, it's like a cast iron sheave. Um, it is called the shutter spoon, and if, you, if you're not familiar with, like, the shutter and flick style with spoons, it means that you just cast it out, um, and you sort of pop it off the bottom and let it flutter back down. And in the creek that I go to, the trouts like destroy, absolutely destroy spoons like this. But then again, I've never actually seen a fish caught on this colored spoon. So I'm not sure how it's gonna work. But I know if I put in the work with this spoon that I can get at least one dink at the creek. So overall like seriously if i wanted to give this this box a rate okay this light is getting messed up if i wanted to give this box a rate um out of 10 i'd have to give it like an eight or nine because the stuff in here is absolutely sick like in my, in my opinion like i would not 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 my opinion but the way i would use this this is more of a small mouth um like a small mouth like a creek bass style box for me because that's going to kill the chartreuse is going to kill the smallmouth that many spinnerbait is going to kill the smallmouth that many suspending jerkbait is not only going to kill the trout but it's going to kill the smallmouth that thing if i put a minnow on the end or if i put a small trailer it's going to kill the smallmouth that i mean i've never really caught smallmouth on spoons before but that may kill it and this 100 percent will kill the smallmouth i'm not sure the composition of these baits i'll put out in a second but i'm going to kill also, I just want to pull out this new awesome Lunker Hunt, um, this new Lunker Hunt sticker. Not Lunker Hunt, what the hell am I saying? New Mi Catch Co. Um, sticker. Saw these on the Mystery Tackle Box and shirts and stuff. It's like something bought, I don't know. But it's really cool. I'm going to put this on my kayak or something because it, it's really nice looking. Alright guys, so I just pulled out the Helgramite and um, I'm checking the stretch, like the durability. It seems to actually hold it pretty well. It doesn't really have a scent to it. Although it does sort of have that like rubbery um, smell. I don't know. It, it might be scented. I'm not really sure. I can't feel any oils on it whatsoever. But um, I, like I said, I just know this is going to kill. more unboxings like this even though I'm probably going to do them anyway make sure to leave a like if you don't want to see these make sure to tell me down below in a comment all right guys I hope you enjoyed this don't forget to leave that like comment and subscribe see you guys later and tight line